Bellevue Hospital and Bellevue Four County Ambulance Services Incorporated are committed to education in the Bellevue area and are proud to support Immaculate Conception School in today's New Six. Local support has also been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU TV. Hi, we're the sixth grade class of Immaculate Conception. Welcome to New Six. Hi, I'm Josh Bard from Immaculate Conception, Bellevue. Welcome to News 6. With today's first story, here's Jonathan Miller. Have you ever wondered the impact that science has on our lives? Dr. Jessup McDonald shows us the latest hip implant that provides a new lease of life to people who can't walk. Hi, my name is Aiden McDonald and I'm here to interview my father about the new hip replacement that he developed. What made you come up with inventing a new hip implant? The early hips that were used to replace a painful hip were limited in, in a number of sizes available to the patient. Um, the bone that we're replacing in a diseased hip is different in the top and the, and the middle parts and it was very difficult to get an implant that had one size to fit both the top and the bottom and with that thought in mind the idea was to make the implant of two pieces so i could fit the top very tightly and the bottom very tightly and then also set the rotation that is seen in every patient's hip have you used it on anyone before indeed we have this hip we've been using here at the Bellevue Hospital for approximately a year now. Um, we have it in approximately 15 to 20 patients. Um, again, varying in age from, from young, very active construction workers in, in their 30s to uh, senior citizens in their mid-80s. How does the hip implant work? Thus far, it's working very well. Um, following surgery, I allow the patients to put all their weight on it right away. I really have no limitations on the patient whatsoever, other than they don't cross their legs. Um, they're having very little pain with it. Have you mentioned this new hip to any other doctors? There are quite a few doctors uh, that are preparing to use the hip. Um, there are two in Atlanta and a couple of doctors in Dallas. Right now the hip is only being done here in Bellevue um, and several of the other hospitals that I work at around this area. Today's New Six is produced by Immaculate Conception. Our school is in Bellevue, which is 25 miles southwest of Sandusky. Bellevue has a population of 8,200 and was founded in 1815. Have you ever thought of being someone famous? If not famous, at least to look like someone who is famous. Tim Sanders talks to a lookalike. Guess who? Some say the king is dead. I say he's alive because I have living proof in Bellevue, Ohio. My brother, Elvis! When and why did you start impersonating Elvis? I started about two years ago. Um, I always kind of thought I sounded like him, and I don't know if I look like him so much, but uh, that's why. Why do you like Elvis's music? Well, I was raised on the oldies from the 50s and 60s because our mom and dad is in their 50s now and um, that's, Elvis just kind of was the best singer that I can remember listening to. What has been your biggest performance in your career? It was uh, New Year's Eve, 94-95. Um, I was invited to Las Vegas to perform in an Elvis impersonator contest where I uh, came in second place. How long does it take to transform into Elvis? Well, I, I don't know. It's starting right now. Actually, I had my hair and had my hair dyed and had sideburns and all I had to do was change clothes, but now I have to 
put my wig on and sideburns on, that takes a little bit of time to get it styled just right, so at the most 15 minutes. What are your future plans as a performer? What I'd like to do is get find an agent, get, get discovered, put a band together, and hopefully give up my day job and just do Elvis. Thank you, Water Sanders III, for the great performance. This week's Kids View question asks the sixth graders, what is your favorite movie and why? Hi, today's Kids View question is, what is your favorite movie and why? My favorite movie is Rudy because I met the real Rudy Rudiker at our school. My favorite movie is The Lion King because it talks about the circle of life. My favorite movie is Major League Two because it is very funny. Don't be scared to see train cars moving by themselves in Bellevue's hump yard. Our next story takes us to the hump yard where computers control the sorting of train cars. What role do you play at the railroad? I'm a locomotive engineer for the Norfolk Southern. I'm uh, responsible for operating the locomotive that uh, transports our cars to our destinations. What is the busiest time of the year working as a railroad engineer? Well, that's difficult to say. A lot of times it's, it goes with how the forward motor is working, whether they're assembling cars at Lorraine. Uh, sometimes it's summer, sometimes it's in the fall. What role do you play at the railroad? I'm the terminal superintendent here at Bellevue. And my major role is to ensure not only we run an economical operation, but that we do it in the best interest of safety for all of our employees. What function does the hump play in the railroad? The hump on the railroad is very similar like your post office in Bellevue. Letters come from all the different homes in Bellevue. They come into one central building. And when the letters leave Bellevue, the New York letters are going to New York. The railroad's the same way. Mr. Gardner will bring a train into Bellevue, and those cars are going all over the country. What happens with a hump is the cars get separated, so the Texas cars go to Texas, the Miami cars go to Miami, Buffalo cars go to Buffalo. You once told me that the railroad's one of Bellevue's best kept secrets. What did you mean by that? The railroad yard here at Bellevue employs probably about 500 people from this local area. Basically, Bellevue Yard, it stretches out for eight miles, thousands and thousands of acres, and yet for somebody to go through Bellevue, you would never know this location is even here, much less that we employ that many people out of such a small rural community. Thank you, Stu Gardner and Dale Elder, for showing us around the hump yard. This week in Critics Corner, sixth graders from Macklin Conception, Bellevue, select The Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. This book is based on a true story about a young girl who is stranded all alone on an island. She has to survive by herself against nature's fury and wild dogs until she is finally rescued. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week when the 6th grade class of Franklin Elementary visit New 6. The Bellevue Hospital and Bellevue Four County Ambulance Services Incorporated are committed to education in the Bellevue area and are proud to support Immaculate Conception School in today's News 6. Local support has also been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.